2017 was a tremendous year for Ciro where we did exactly what we said we would do in terms of implementing our strategy in what is a very favourable market environment. First of all, in terms of capital allocation, we were very disciplined in our approach to allocating capital and we spent over a billion pounds of funds into both development and acquisitions and also 550 million pounds to acquire the APP portfolio uh, from our joint venture partner. We also continue to take a disciplined approach to recycling capital out of existing assets so we completed over 500 million of disposals in the year. Our continued focus on operational excellence in one of the best market environments I've seen in the 12 years I've been in the business has enabled us to deliver some excellent operational data in terms of record development completions, a, a substantial increase in the amount of new contracted rent, the lowest ever vacancy rate that we've reported, and some excellent customer retention and rental growth statistics. And underpinning all of our property activities, Showman and his team have been extremely busy refinancing and restructuring the balance sheet. We've generated over £2.7 billion of new equity and debt funding, significantly reduced the cost of borrowing, and extended the debt maturity of the, uh, of the debtor book we have, and that's given us a great balance sheet going into the future. As I look across the portfolio that we've created over the last uh, few years, I really do think now we have a unique collection of very well-located, modern, sustainable assets. Uh, we're very unusual in having both big boxes and urban distribution space. Uh, and of course, we're covering multiple geographies, so we're able to offer a full range of space to our customers. Earnings per share for 2017 we're up strongly to 19.9 pence per share, that's up 6%. We've increased the dividend by 6% as well, reflecting this performance and the strong outlook for the future. The net asset value per share is up strongly to 556 pence per share, that's up 16% on last year. That's been driven mainly by the property valuation, which reflects our asset management activities, some yield shift and ERV growth, and that's up to eight billion pounds, up 13%. With an extraordinary period of activity on the balance sheet through 2017, we've raised £2.7 billion through the year. We had the rights issue back in March that raised £570 million, and we raised a further £2.1 billion of debt through the course of the year. As a result of all of this activity, the cost of debt is just 2.1%, and the term of that debt is almost 11 years, that's up four and a half years. The loan to value of the business is just 30%. We've already started 2018. Well, there's encouraging demand across all of our markets and we've had some considerable leasing success, including at our East Midlands Gateway Logistics Scheme in the UK, at our two-storey development in Paris and some other prelets, particularly from online retailers in Italy. With low vacancy rates across all of our markets and a scarcity of available land for development, particularly in urban locations, I think the prospects for further rental growth and indeed development-led growth are very encouraging. We have a tremendous bank of land under our ownership or optioned and a balance sheet that's strong enough to fund that growth. There are plenty of macro risks out there that could impact the broader economy, but so far as our particular subsector is concerned, I think the structural drivers of demand and the shortage of supply or any sign of new supply coming through means that demand from occupiers and indeed demand from investors to own this type of stock should be very supportive as we go through 2018.